Right, the third character we uh, made sure we had it all meshed and skinned correctly in motion for a VR chat character was the Nemesis. So this one was a little bit interesting to rig because he's um, not on a T pose. Um, it's definitely easier if you when you're making an, a model for a, an, anim, uh, an animated uh, avatar for VR chat to start off when you create them in a in a T pose like this one I had to rig it um, where it where it was positioned because that was the model I got given but um, it's, it still can do it that's where masterpiece uh, motion actually makes it really simple because you you're in a 3d environment and you can just position the bones and and follow the shape so much easier than you could on a 2d say desktop environment so it wasn't too much of an issue um, everything else on this one was fairly straightforward again was just naming the bones because you will have to change some of them in, in um, unity possibly if it has any errors and this one here because of his head the way it is and we've rigged it with it um, the bone through the middle of it it'll probably when it imports to unity it'll be up like this because it likes to have a humanoid pose but that's not an issue it just means if you've got it there as long as you skin it in this the pose that you want it where it's natural sort of stances then when you import it to unity you go to the configuration tab which we'll cover later um, you just rotate everything back to where you want it to be as its default sort of position as such so yeah another fairly straightforward one